little uh, beef jerky breakfast. Just a snack. Smally time? Smally time, dude. I gotta wake up first, though. I know, me too. But it's definitely smally time. It smells like it in the air. So we're gonna go up into the Columbia River Gorge. We're gonna launch in Oregon, so you're covering your Oregon State, out of Cascade Locks, which is a cool just little town. There's a cool little bridge too we should go check out and show some of your followers. It's called Bridge of the Gods. Okay. It's pretty sweet. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna launch in there and then basically just fish the Columbia River. It's huge. It's gonna look big and brown and muddy and it's gonna be loaded with smallmouth. Dude, I'm so stoked right now. Hell yeah. That's what let's I wanna get, hear. Let's break another PV today. Let's like do it. That. Yeah, like that would that be idea. perfect. So if you guys missed yesterday's video, Mike actually broke his largemouth PB in about three minutes of being at the lake we were fishing. It was sick. It was insane. Also, if you guys want to check these guys out, they're addicted fishing. I'm going to leave them linked down in the description below. They've been hooking James and I up big time as we've been up here in the Pacific Northwest. So make sure you go subscribe to them. Check out some of their content. It's A+. And we're going to go catch some smallies. James is pretty juiced up. He actually woke up before me this morning, so that definitely says something. Let's go fishing, boys. It's beautiful out here. We're getting in there, guys. We're, we're gonna try. So we're going to fish Ash Lake which is right on the other side of this culvert. First goal of the day is to get the boat through it. That's it, not too hard. Actually, I don't know, they're pretty skinny. Is his boat even gonna fit through there? Right, dude, I don't know. It looks, now that you're getting up on it close, like the it, angle is- It's getting smaller. Getting smaller. I think the faster we go, the better chance we'll have. We should probably haul ass, huh? I mean, I think full speed. No, I'm not starting out here. I'm gonna try to get in here. Okay. Let's try to walk her through. Let's flip it. Oh, we're good, good, dude. We're going in. Dude, look at us. This is how you do it, boys. We managed to get this 22 foot boat through that tiny little culvert. And now we're back in the hole. So we're gonna see if we can get some fish. First cast, Oregon. Yep. Oh, James, that's a stud! <laughs> yeah! Nice! It's pretty. Let's get that grass off you. How's it feel to be in the smallmouth territory again? Feels good. I'm happy. Nice big ones. We'll get them back in. Sick! Thanks a lot, Oregon. Sanko? Boom! Splash me in the face. Yeah, Sanko. Nice work. Good, good, good. Redemption. There he is. Got him? Yeah. He's a good one. So funny, I was like, I cannot believe I'm not getting a bite on these damn crankbaits. And then literally got this fish on a crankbait. Not what we're looking for, but we'll take her. They're just such cool looking fish. Look at the red eye on them. Marlin just got one on a crawl crank. I'm putting on a little swim bait right now. Nice. There we go. Got him. Little one. Okay. Take him though. You found the half. First cast with that little swim bait too. Woo. You wanna get some good? First fish of Oregon. A little smally. We doubled up too. See ya. Fish on my game. James. Smally man. Oh, God. Oh. Here we go. Fish number two. Yeah, should we give you any of those? Chartreuse one. The big one. Oh, the big boy, too. It's supposed to piss off Smalley. No, I 
think that was that one's for large now. It's like a seven inch chartreuse tube you drop on their bed. Ugh. It's ridiculous looking. Like... <laughs> Fish? Yeah. That's on. Oh. Feel good? It's a giant boys. No, it's not too big. Good fish though. Small just bites so freaking hard. Come here. It's swim bait. You know what's funny? I know it's not Another the swim bait. Oh. Double up again. They're just stacked. Oh, look how dark that one is. I love small ones. They look so cool. Oh, that's, look at that fat one. We're looking for her grandma. Here we go. Grandma. This is typical salmon and steelhead fishing. We're just completely afraid of treble hooks because we don't use them very often. But There we go. And Matt's on another one. Sweet. That's my biggest smallie of the day. Look at that eye. Such a beautiful fish. They're not huge by any means, but fun is hell to catch. This a little so hard. 3.8 inch Kitek. Ball head jig. It's perfect. Ooh, he Did you just get whacked? It. Nice. Oh yeah. How like how many fish are stacked up here right now in this little pocket? It's crazy. Just hammered it. Double after double. Come hammered on, triple, it. triple, Matt. James, get up in here. Come on, James. Wow, this is just, I mean, found them and got it going. That's another, they're just getting bigger too. Every, every fish is getting bigger. Come here, bud. See ya. This is triple. pretty, pretty sick. Oh, oh we had it, dang it. <laughs> so close. I can't really tell 100% how big it is. Oh, it's not too big. Nope. Just crushed. No net. Ah, she's good. I can flip her. Just a fatty. Fighting so hard. I'm messing you up. Boop. God. Bigger and bigger. It's not a bad fish. Smallmouth fishing is nuts, just like the action when you find them. It's wild. See you later, buddy. Thank you for the fight. They're crushing this thing. It's stupid. And I only have one left. This this is the last one. Hey, 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 hey. You almost got hooked in the eye because you were whacking like that. Another nice little one. Oh, the lipless? Yeah. Like, I try to rip it through there, but it just doesn't work. <clears throat> that was hilarious. I was just popping it up to the surface. Oh, come back here, maybe. Chunky. A lot of small ones, a lot of small ones all over this right here. That was cool. I'm happy they're still eating this one big because I think I have like two or three of these. Look how chunky that fish is. Just fat football. James, you on? Ooh, hoo, hoo, doubled up. Can we get the triple? Can we get the triple? I wish I had my bait on. <laughs> there we go. Triple. Got him. Triple. Big in? I don't know. He crushed it though. I can hear that. Triple up. Triple up. First triple up of the day. I think we found the spot. Oh, what was that? Spot. What we got? Lipless? What were you throwing? Swim bait and a Senko. That's awesome. Dude. Good fish boys, fish bump? Boom. Oh, yeah. Fish Hell bump. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> triple. Bye. Bye bye. There you go. I'm starting to lose faith in, faith in the lipless and it came through. Hammer time. Last minute. The moment that you lose here we go so i just switched over to the biospawn exo swim i was a little worried the bait was going to be too big but i mean that fish told me that that is not the case 
if you guys are interested in these baits be sure to click that link down in the description below at shop carl's you can pick those up there awesome bait it's like one of my favorite swim baits to throw to the island so what do we got Fif 15 fish how many eight three three i think i have probably like four or five i don't know maybe i lost you I you lost have count. at least four or five yeah we doubled up like two or three times. Tripled up once. Tripled up once. There's a lot of fish in the boat. Fish? Yeah. On the swim bait? Yep. The uh, little one. Oh, no. the, I switched back to the small one. I got one yeah. too. Doubled up. Yeah, buddy. We're back on him. Smallies. Got a jumper. He Triple. smoked. Oh, tripled up again? Yep. All right. All right. This is silly. This swim bait was all the way down that fish's throat. It's nuts. And another triple up. This is wild. There we go. Yeah. Magic man. You fished through pretty much this entire lake area in about two hours. We spot locked on a couple different spots really got into quite a few smallmouth. We've been doing really well on swim baits, We've caught a few on Senkos, crankbaits. It's been fun. We've probably caught over 20 fish. All right, well, as we were told it would, it got pretty wild out there. Super windy, I mean, it's probably blowing like 25, maybe even more. It was white capping, huge waves, so we decided to call it and run back to the ramp before it got any sketchier. I can tell you for sure there's zero chance the job boat would have been through that. We would have been screwed. But we're gonna run back to Marlin's house and then we'll see you guys back there. What's going on here, buddy? Just a little, a little bit of tackle org, you know. A little getting, spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. We're getting ready to roll out of Washington. And we're heading toward Idaho. We have tonight to kind of hang out. We're doing a podcast with Addicted Fishing, and we're gonna clean up the boat and van, and just get ready for the next stretch of fishing over the next week or two. We still have 22 states, we said, or 19 states, James for me. So 19 states to go. We have to do it in 30 days. It's going to be a grind. Meanwhile, I'm going to clean up my mess from the other day where this stuff all exploded. So I'm going to reorganize our terminal tackle and then we're going to just keep on. I think we're having pizza tonight. We are having pizza tonight. That's what we're going to end this one off, guys. Make sure you go check out Addicted Fishing. Huge thanks to them for taking James and I out for the last two days. Honestly, I don't think we could have fished the Columbia River in any safe manner without them, so we're very appreciative that they took us out and got us on some fish. Make sure you check them out. We'll catch you guys in Idaho over the next couple days, so make sure you stay tuned for that. We'll see you on the next one.